Hi, my name is Mark Cashman. I'm a senior product manager at Microsoft on the SharePoint team, and I'm very excited to show you the files request feature. This is a feature that we've had and do have still in OneDrive, and it's now starting to show up and be available in SharePoint document libraries. So if you have a Microsoft Teams team with a connected SharePoint site or a standalone SharePoint site, whether it's one document library or many, you can turn this feature on or have it enabled for you by IT. And it gives you the ability to have files sent to you to a specific folder in a very safe and secure fashion. You choose the folder where you want others to upload files and then send them a link, essentially. The people that you request files from can only upload files. They can't see the contents of the folder. They can't edit, delete, download files. They can't even see other files that other people that you've requested from have uploaded. And of course, you could do this across multiple folders if you had different scenarios or different groups of people that you wanted to reach out to for different projects. Um, when you receive the file, every file will have a prefix, so it identifies who uploaded it. And if there are two files of the same name, we won't overwrite. We will just append a number. So with that, I want to show you how this feature works in a SharePoint document library. Here we are on the Mark 9 Project Team team site. And as you can see, I'm in the SharePoint domain within the Contoso Electronics tenant. Um, but I'm on a very specific site in a document library, and I created a specific folder called Vendor Responses. Uh, you can also see that this is connected to a Microsoft Teams team, but I'm in the SharePoint space that it's connected to, and I just have created a specific folder that I want to request files into. I also pinned it here just so that you could see a little bit more easier in this demo. So if I select this folder and I go into the ellipses in the drop-down, you'll see that we now have the ability to request files. When I do this, I'm going to give it a name. I've already pre-populated this uh, so that it is the Mark 9 Campaign RFP. That's what the recipient is going to see to give them a little more context. You can type whatever you want to or need to in here. When you click Next, it's going to step through where I may just want to grab a link. I could even put this link in the signature of my email if I always want to have something that says send your files to me in this way. Uh, and then they would click that link in my email signature and then of course that would send that file anytime somebody uploaded it to this same folder. And I could create it for multiple folders. But just so we can see it a little bit more, I'm going to send this to myself to my Hotmail account. And so this represents me being able to send it to pretty much anybody outside of my uh, tenant to an external guest or an external user. And add a little more context. Thanks for sending me your current RFP. I'll sign it mark to mark. Send that off. Get a validation here. Now, if I switch over, I'm just going to switch browsers to where I've got my email account loaded up. And in a little bit here, we should see this pop in as a notification to external mark. There it is. I can see systems administrator who I was logged in as the admin for that tenant. So uh, that is who is sending it to me. Sent you a request for the Mark 9 campaign RFP. That's what I had originally uh, typed in freehand before I sent the message. And then I'm going to click Upload Files. This is the web interface. It gives me a little more context or the same context that I'm uploading to Contoso Electronics. But if you notice, there's really nothing else that I can access or get to. And even if I tried to do something with the URLs and whatnot, I wouldn't be able to. So I go into Select Files to then upload my proposal, Fabricam underscore Mark 9 dash proposal. Just keep that in mind. And I'll type in my name, first name Mark, last name Cashman, and then I'll click Upload. Doesn't take too long. I get validation uh, that it's uploaded successfully. And if I wanted to, I could upload more. If I click Upload More, I can upload a number of documents, one at a time, multiple at a time. No matter what, they will all go to that same folder, the vendor request folder that I had created. So let's go back over, back to the Mark 9 project team site. 
and now if I hover over this and I'll just do a quick refresh you can see now that I've got that one file that has now landed in there and if you notice it appends my full name that I typed in because it required a first name and a last name and it added it to the original title from what I had uploaded from my machine here so that's now a full document within my tenant within the place that I wanted it to be as submitted by the vendor with the appending name so I know who submitted it and if I did this a number of different times I would see everybody's uploaded file here but they would never have visibility to be able to see anybody else's file. So nobody else could see anybody else's proposal in this scenario. That is the magic of requesting files. Here you're seeing it or have just seen in the context of a SharePoint document library, but it's also been available for OneDrive. So if you have guest sharing enabled, you can enable it per site. You don't have to enable it for everything. And it really is a convenient way for you or your end users who you're supporting to have a method to be able to have files sent to them in a secure fashion and something that makes it so that these aren't attachments in email, that they're in your tenant uh, you know, as soon as they can from when you receive them. So give this a try. Try out requesting external files from a SharePoint document library and let us know what you think.